Welcome everyone to this video. What this is, is Adrian up? from San Francisco. I'm here with my friend Rafa. Say hi Rafa. What's good everybody? <laughs> Rafa is a fellow YouTuber. I met him like uh, two weeks ago in San Francisco. Uh, no, in uh, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. And he stays with me for a couple of days. Now we are about to get some free lunch at Uber. <laughs> we're gonna go explore the city. We're gonna go see what's going down at Uber. Check and a uh, get a little tour of the HQ. And after that, we're gonna get uh, back home, do some work. And after that, tonight there's pretty awesome things going on. What are we doing? Um, I think it's called Shark Tank Pitch Event or something, and they're gonna be a couple startups pitching their ideas, and it's gonna be super interesting. And of course, we're gonna take you guys with us, and maybe summarize afterwards what we learned that day. Yeah, this well, would be interesting. It's gonna be some savage stuff. I'm pumped to see what goes <laughs> down. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday we were at Yelp, and this is also pretty interesting. And the next couple of days we're gonna go to Google HQ, Google, and also Lyft Lit. HQ. This is gonna be super interesting, and it's gonna be a little, uh, and it's gonna be a lot of free food. <laughs> we got next. Uber and Lyft in the same week, yeah. ladies and gents. Stay tuned. <laughs> it's gonna be super interesting, and let's go. <laughs> If you see that, sorry for this. This was not our intention. That's <laughs> how the market works, baby, here on Market Street. Well, I gotta say, Lyft was uh, cheaper though, so. <laughs> By the way, this is one of the things that's totally different to Europe because like here in Silicon Valley It's normal to get free food for the employees. I think this is super awesome <laughs> Rob, how, did, how did you like it in there? Dude, that was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, so I mean my main thing was like Everything there was super super healthy me that I live a paleo lifestyle I had a lot of different options if you're vegan you also get some options, but don't be vegan don't be <laughs> yeah, but no, The food was incredible lots of options the, the overall vibe of the place was very uh, vibrant. People were energetic. It was really cool. They have an unreal like patio where you get a pretty cool view of the city. They got couches, they got like, tennis tables and everything. We went up and saw some of the offices. Very, very open concept, lots of natural light, which I loved in a building. It was cool, honestly. Like everyone there seemed very relaxed and super happy to be working, which I think is important yep. for a company. Yeah. Well, it's also super interesting that Uber is only like six years old or something, and they have over 3,000 engineers working there. I mean, like 3,000 engineers working for Uber. A I mean, lot of if engineers. If you have ever used Uber, it doesn't look so so techy, but they've got many things going on in the in the background. So this is super interesting, and it's super interesting to see how the people enjoy working there. So as a European, I'm totally impressed by the lifestyle that this kind of work actually has. So did you notice they had like those little sleeping pods if you want to go take a nap? Part of the offices they have like a little box. Really? Yeah, yeah. We just nap there. That's awesome. So. <laughs> This was a super amazing experience. If you get, if you ever get the chance to see one of the HQs in Silicon Valley, you have to do that. So, do it, do it. 
So now we head back to my place, then get some work done, and tonight we will head back to downtown to see this Shark Tank pitch thing, whatsoever. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting, so see you later. Guys, by the way, I just don't want to give you just all the glamorous things and positive things, but I also want to give you some sort of realistic, authentic impression of what the city is like and how the life here is like. And I gotta say, the thing that you realize, especially if you're European, is when you come to San Francisco, many parts of the town are actually very dirty. And this is one of the downsides. But I also want to mention this because this is what this is about, you know? So. You got these huge contradictions, you got the super glamorous tech HQs in downtown, but you also got big parts of the city that are super poor and also super dirty. And this is kind of sad, but I want to give you an authentic impression of this. So this, that's the reason why I'm mentioning this. It's a little grungy in some areas, like the one yep. that we're in right now. Where are we in town? Yeah, we're in Mission District. Um, there are many artists here, but also many homeless people. And this is one of the first things that you realize there are many homeless people here. And as a European, you're not used to see homeless people everywhere. So that's kind of sad, but I just felt the, the need to, to share this with you. So anyways, let's head back to the positive things.
work is a co-working space super interesting nice place and free coffee <laughs> um, so by the way I miss Los Angeles right now because it's getting super cold rough are you freezing man I'm dying <laughs> I can't do this. Yeah. I, I miss Venice Beach sometimes don't you <laughs> every single day yeah, every single day so let's do some small recap um, this was basically people pitching, but I gotta say it was interesting was a super safe environment. So um, people started pitching, then after the pitch. Crazy here. Yeah, there are crazy people here. Uh, did you guys remember I told you about the downside earlier? This is one of them. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> so um, let's do a little recap. This was a pitch event where people pitched their ideas. But it was not about getting some sort of money today, but it was rather practicing pitching. I think this is interesting, providing people a safe environment where they can actually... Where are you? Over here. <laughs> it's super interesting to give people some sort of safe environment where they can practice how to pitch and get some honest feedback by professional VCs that are experience when it comes to pitching so it's super interesting to see that um Ruff, what was your impression it was cool you know what because like a lot of times people think that, you know okay yeah sure here we're in silicon valley everyone has all the answers it's startup central so everyone's here with some incredible ideas but it was cool seeing these people be real you know what i mean yeah. like some of the presentations were not all that great there were some that were pretty good there were some ideas that were like all right you know what i mean so it's it's kind of eye-opening yeah it was cool yeah, you know you, you think of it you're like i can do this i and can present better than all those people by the way the first thing i noticed is that uh, the people in america even in silicon valley have the same problems like we do in europe people don't save real problems sometimes or they don't know yet how to approach certain things and i'm going to talk about this later but it's interesting these are just people like we are and even if the silicon valley there's nothing magical about it, just people hustling, people are ambitious and everyone got some sort of side project. This is why they do this because they practice and practice and practice, practice and practice. Like practice. Sorry, guys. Everyone wants to get better, no problem. So this is super interesting and I took some notes and I'm gonna take about this. I'm gonna talk about this later. So now we get home and it's getting cold. <laughs> so.